Part five. All right, I'm walking over with this set up on my little tray. We'll see if I make it. It's a little heavy. I'm attempting to multitask because I'm getting very tired. <laughs> been working on this new farm space for a couple of weeks now and it's uh I'm not gonna lie I'm, I'm very tired and that doesn't mean I'm not absolutely so happy because I am I love it this is what I've been wanting to do forever Like, living the dream does not mean the dream is not hard. It is hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm very tired and I can't wait till all the transplants are planted so I can be finished with the planting. Everything is in full bloom over here. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Part of what's been hard about the transplants is that I keep feeling kind of stressed out about them getting enough water or too much sun or getting eaten and none of that has happened. They've all been fine. You can see down here. These are the, the latest batch. This is lavender, very special. And a whole bunch of green zebra and beefsteak tomatoes. They're coming out of the hoop house today and they're going out to the space. I'm gonna plant them as soon as I can. The other transplants are not looking as beautiful because I've been busy. And that's just one of those make a choice kind of situations. So I am going to talk about transplants, but I think I'm also going to just vent a little bit. Tropical fruit is a little strange. Tastes like fruit punch. Okay. So when you move to a new area, of course, you don't really have a social network. That's to be expected. And it's not really a bad thing. Comes with the territory. If you decide to move, it's gonna be a little challenging for a while, and it is. But of course you wanna make new friends and uh, meet people, be social, go out, explore the area. And it's been fun. It's been really nice to meet more people and do more events and have hobbies, all the things. But on top of trying to get started farming, it's been uh, <laughs> too much. And I'm tired and I feel kind of burnt out and I'm not even finished yet. So I think we're gonna have to hibernate a little bit. That's why my transplant video took a little while to arrive. I am tired. So for transplants, the most important thing is gonna be the hole that you dig. If you watched my tomato video, you already saw how I flipped the tomatoes on their sides. And today I'm just digging the holes for them to go into. It's going pretty well. Um, you can see them behind me. And then down here as well.
The order I have them in is marigold on the end. And then similar types of tomatoes and I'm doing a spacing of about 18 inches to two feet. And from the tomatoes being on their side or straight up and down, whatever your preference. Once your hole is dug, the bottom needs to be opened up before you put it in your hole. That should be about twice as deep and wide as your little planter. So this year I am using some transplants to get stuff going. I think in the coming years I'm just going to do seeds and direct seed most of the most of the things. Yeah. So uh, the ground is very hard and like I said, I'm tired. So dig your hole twice as wide and deep as your transplant pot. When you go to put it in the soil, make sure the bottom of the newspaper pot is open or the roots, if they're root bound, make sure that you kind of open them up a little bit so they have some space to maneuver and then use good soil in the hole that you dug along with the native soil. That's everything for transplants. And I'm sorry, I got very tired <laughs> and did not finish as strong as I wanted to. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have a, a garden success video shortly. I'm sure I will. The peas are looking really nice. But it has gotten very hot. And that's farming, right? You never know what's going to come. So here we are. And I'm going to finish what I started. Get all those tomatoes in. Can't wait for next year. I really want to direct seed everything. It will be a whole lot less stress. And that was uh, my lesson for this year. Zone 7 is different than a zone 5. And that's great. I'm happy about that. I'm going to try to get through my day. And <laughs> that's your last step. Transplants. Um, I will post another video um, for step six. Step six is much easier. It's uh, tending to your garden or your farm. Once you've gotten everything planted, um, it's nice and relaxed and straightforward. I'm looking forward to that <laughs> so much. So me versus the clay soil for one or two more afternoons and then we'll be finished. Thank you for following so far. If you have started a garden, share a picture. I would love to see it. <laughs> Bye.